Today we're in Huddersfield and we're going to the Huddersfield Contemporary Music Festival. Um, it's the Monday, which is um, normally so it's a free all day, sort of shorts and things. Um, you work and uh, different groups, um, they've started already I think, so I'm going to head through Huddersfield uh, to St Paul's Hall. Um, yeah, and I thought I would take you along, see what you think. Um, should be able to get a few samples. Normally it's a pretty informal gig, so it uh, should be good fun. Um, and I always make some nice discoveries, so uh, hopefully. I um, don't know how long I'll be here for today, but um, make the most of it. And uh, I know what's going on, so let me know what you think. I really like Huddersfield. Uh, I think it's got a lot of character. You've seen the train station um, and some of the university buildings. This is the obviously the library, art gallery, built as the art gallery, art deco style. Um, unfortunately the art gallery isn't open on Mondays, otherwise I'd go in. But uh, normally I come on a Sunday and 
have a look then. Um, and obviously the Queensgate Market as well, which I think is a brilliant space, um, which we saw just before with the installation. And now we're going into the Town Hall, amazing Victorian Town Hall um, for the next concert. So let's go and investigate. As you can see, it's got dark. Um, it's still a bit to go though in the festival. Um, if you don't know it, Huddersfield Contemporary Music Festival is now yearly and we're going, gosh, I'm not sure. <sighs> Can't remember. Long time, a few decades. Um, and the Monday every year is free, short concerts, half an hour, 40 minutes, um, across the city and um, there's a sort of sample really of what's going on and I try and make it every year uh, and it's always great fun, real variety. It's been quite um, sombre so far but just about to go into a jazz gig uh, in the church. I think it's very busy this year as well so um, see if we can get into a few of the later ones. Probably won't stay late late this time because I've not got a hotel so I'm going to have to get the train home. But um, yeah, let's uh, see what's inside. <laughs> First venue I ever came to at Huddersfield for the Vienna Vegetable Orchestra many many years ago. It was amazing and uh, this is going to be my last set for today. There's a few more after that but I need to get the train home. I'm cutting it fine as it is. Yeah. 
This is the amazing space that we have here. A bit nippy now. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little uh, taste of the Huddersfield Contemporary Music Festival. Um, I always find it great fun, inspiring, thought-provoking and I'll no doubt uh, come up with many ideas in response. Um, great day and this Monday, I mean, the festival itself I think can be quite expensive. Uh, the standard gigs can be like £12 or more but uh, this Monday every year free all day all these little gigs and it's just it's just fantastic it's absolutely brilliant a real uh, gem in British cultural life I think and if you can make it definitely do it's been a regular for many years so I'm sure I'll be back next year and I'm sure I'll be back next year hopefully next year I'll have more chance to have a look around Huddersfield which is an absolutely incredible town um, really interesting as well and has its own sort of culture it's far enough away from Leeds and Manchester that it uh, is able to really generate a sense of itself and there seems to be a lot going on new now but um, I'm going to have to try to investigate so I might have to pop back at some point in the meantime and maybe have a day trip a bit of a walk a bit of an explore yeah I'm going to try and get the next train home hopefully I'll be home in time for bed uh, it's been a mental weekend with one thing and another um, and yeah I'll see you on the next video have fun